This video tutorial will walk you through using the Inquisitive or IQ MindTap app to create a medical coding trainer quiz, as well as adding and assigning medical coding trainer quizzes to the learning path. To get started, ensure that you locate your MindTap course on your instructor dashboard page. Find your course and click on the hyperlink. Your course will open in a new tab. Medical Coding Trainer is accessible in two different ways through MindTap for instructors, through the Add Create button or through the IQ app on the app doc. For this tutorial, I will click on the IQ app. To create a quiz, click on New Quiz. Set the parameter for your quiz and click Create when you are finished. You will need to choose a quiz name, the difficulty level, the subject area, and choose the number of questions to include in your quiz. You can choose a minimum of five and a maximum of 250. Once you have created the quiz, you will be brought back to the list of medical coding trainer activities. Close out of the IQ app to proceed to assigning the quiz. To assign the quiz, it first must be added to the MindTap learning path. To do this, click on the Add Create button and then click Add Activity. Click on Inquisitive Assessments in the Activities list. Click Select to select the quiz you want to add to the learning path. Now you must set your grading parameters for the quiz. You can edit the activity name and description. Gradable, choose whether the quiz is graded or ungraded. For max score, enter the maximum score possible on the quiz. Set your attempts, choose score strategy, choose which score to record, the most recent, average, or the best. Then click Create. The Assigned a Course box will pop up. You can choose to customize the availability and due dates as well as the location and order in the MindTap learning path. Click Add and you will have successfully placed your medical coding trainer quiz in the MindTap learning path. Thank you for completing this video tutorial for medical coding trainer. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.